In this video we'll show how to install LoadRunner's Community Edition and the core components. If you like our videos, check out our pro training courses. Our pro training programs are designed for people who need results fast. The most up-to-date ALM training, knowledgeable instructors, and we work around your personal schedule. For more information, go to www.machinedata.com slash pro dash training. Okay, so now we're going to begin with uh, installation of the core components for LoadRunner's uh, Community Edition. Now, in this example, we're installing this all on Windows 8.1 Professional. And when you do the installation, uh, it will do uh, some unzipping of files. It may take a couple of minutes. Um, and then it will begin the installation. It's important to note that there are some software prerequisites for some of the load testing protocols. Uh, so fortunately, the installation process will um, uh, show us and download these automatically, but it's worth knowing that you may need to update your system if you don't have, for example, the .NET uh, 3.0 or 3.5 um, uh, libraries or toolkits in there. So anyway, we'll let this uh, process uh, wind its way here, uh, unzip the files, and then begin the installation. So we'll just pause the recording momentarily and let the, uh, let the rest of the installation go through and then we'll resume once we have our installation wizard screens up. Okay, so as I said, there's uh, obviously some prerequisites, and um, uh, most of these are uh, going to be downloaded automatically and installed by the tool. So there's no need to go out to uh, to uh, Microsoft to download any of these. Uh, the exception being the .NET framework, and if you don't have the uh, .NET 3.5 framework or the 4, uh, you will get a warning message saying that uh, it may be needed for some protocols. In which case, you just go to Windows Update and add that feature from your Windows um, um, additional uh, features uh, tab. So either you can download those through Microsoft or just enable them in your uh, Windows uh, uh, programs. So uh, we'll let this uh, process just go through. It's just a couple more um, little add-ons and then we'll get the installation wizard here. As I said, these uh, these installations uh, go pretty quickly once all the files are extracted and once these um, redistributables are, uh, are fetched and installed. Okay, so the uh, initial wizard comes up. Just give it a second here to initialize and then uh, we will give it uh, um, the necessary information. Um, maybe calculate uh, disk usage. Uh, whether you have a sufficient disk uh, available, and also uh, whether you want to start the LoadRunner agent after installation. Now, obviously, you have to accept the license agreement. The LoadRunner agent is only necessary if you want to use this machine as the uh, one of the load generators. Uh, so if you're just uh, doing this for a small load test of 10, 15 users, uh, then that's fine. But if you are going to do uh, 20, 50, or more, uh, you're going to use multiple machines, and so uh, I usually don't uh, install the LoadRunner agent on this machine unless I intend to also use it uh, as a generator. But in this case, uh, we'll, we'll install all of them, and uh, it will just uh, quickly uh, register the components and uh, perform the installation. So I'm just going to pause it here so that we don't have spend a lot of time uh, waiting for the, uh, the installation to finish but rather uh, get to the uh, result uh, quickly. Okay, so it's just uh, copying a few files and then it will uh, register the components and then we should be, uh, we should be all set.
Okay, and so uh, just uh, cleaning up a few uh, last items on the installation. We already see the uh, three main components of LoadRunner uh, installed. Uh, that is the uh, controller application, the virtual user generator, which is used for uh, developing load test scripts, and the analysis tool, which, um, which helps us uh, go through the results of load tests and examine and find where the bottlenecks uh, uh, occurred. Now one of the last things it does is installs HPLN which is the HP Live Network which is the community forums um, on the HP website so they've kind of built that in as a supplemental help system right into the uh, uh, VU Gen application so that can be a, a useful tool for um, searching for help, tips, and tricks uh, just through the uh, LoadRunner community. And if you get the uh, this pop-up regarding the firewall permissions, just allow it for uh, the appropriate networks. That will uh, create the necessary uh, permissions through the firewall to allow the controller to communicate to the generators and the generators to communicate uh, in turn to the um, to the application under test and also back to the controller. Okay and as part of the authentication settings uh, you can um, specify a certificate that uh, the agent will use uh, when communicating to your target system. Um, now for this particular example we will uh, simply um, a generate a certificate automatically and uh, use that uh, that that built-in one so for uh, more documentation on that uh, just please see our other videos or consult the documentation actually we'll just uh, bypass that now the um, load runner also has a brand new web controller and uh, so it's probably a good idea to install the web controller to get a sense of um, the new user interface and also uh, so that you can then use that same web controller in other uh, locations to access uh, load runner and set up scenarios so we'll um, we'll just uh, accept these defaults as well and wrap up our uh, installation now the readme is a great place to start for uh, getting information about the latest release uh, and also um, and also uh, uh, limitations or any notes with regards to uh, scripting protocols so uh, the great thing is that um, it provides some interesting um, capabilities uh, in this new release and it documents what the enhancements are and also some of the limitations that are important for your system or potentially for your system. So we'll wait for the web controller to finish the, uh, the download and also the installation and then we will uh, uh, wrap up this uh, short video. So in the background you'll see that the uh, LoadRunner license utility has been launched. That's also uh, one of the options we chose and what the license utility does is simply uh, tell us information about this particular uh, uh, instance of LoadRunner. First of all, the host ID is the unique uh, uh, ID uh, that's uh, for this particular PC. So if you decide to purchase additional licenses, uh, you'll need to uh, identify the host ID to lock those to the licenses. But uh, because this is a community uh, edition software, we actually get 50 permanent virtual user licenses and if you highlight the uh, license key it'll actually show you all the different protocols that uh, come bundled with that so you have quite a bit of capability here now for the first time and so whether you're testing uh, straight web applications whether you're testing web services whether you're even testing um, some of the other web-based uh, applications such as SAP uh, you now have the ability to use uh, the community edition to at least perform some ind individual uh, load tests as well. And as far as the mobile um, uh, UI, you also get uh, the license for True Client for native mobile applications. So more on that uh, uh, as we go through these other videos. 
Uh, but this is one of the great things about the community edition that people sometimes overlook in terms of the uh, the direction that HP has taken in terms of getting LoadRunner into the hands of more people and getting them use using LoadRunner as a de facto standard. So we'll go ahead and close up the uh, license utility. We don't need that anymore. Uh, and we're just going to wait for the web controller to finish the installation process. Okay, and now that the uh, web controller installer is downloaded, it's just a, a few uh, clicks uh, to get this uh, optional component installed. And so we'll, uh, we'll wait for it to uh, finish its initialization and then we'll just um, proceed with the, uh, the quick setup of the uh, web controller. Okay, so just uh, click next. Now uh, we're going to uh, use this machine as a load generator as well. So uh, we'll go ahead and start uh, that agent uh, after the installation too. So uh, we'll let this uh, process wind down and uh, I don't think there's uh, too many options to choose from aside from just the, uh, uh, the, the installation agreement to terms, etc. Okay, and see so it's it created the uh, additional icon for the new web controller, so we'll use that to open our scenarios as well. Okay. So now we have our uh, completed um, installation, including our web controller. You can choose to open the installation log just to make sure everything got registered correctly. Um, but yeah, so this uh, video was a little bit longer than planned, but uh, at least we got the uh, community edition installed and we were set up for the uh, next uh, in our series on uh, the uh, LoadRunner product um, in terms of how to use LoadRunner for developing and executing performance tests. Thanks for watching and uh, look forward to our uh, look for our next video.